Hi there. Welcome back to the YouTube channel for 123CY. I'm Werner and I'm passionate about conversations on the topics of business and life strategy. Before I dive into today's topic, I would like to reflect on the day that was. Today was day one for lockdown South Africa and the country unfortunately also experienced another first. Early this morning, reports were issued about the first two deaths due to COVID-19. A woman aged 28 and a woman aged 48 passed away due to COVID-19. My heart truly goes out to every single person who loves these two women who are now no longer with us. This early morning news together with a number of other issues were things that I had to accept before I could start with the activities of my day. I also had to accept this eerie silence, this home alone Christmas lull meets third world war against an invisible enemy type silence. I had to accept the fact that I share the house with three very different human beings and with two very, very different beings being canines circling the house. Now all six of us, where's the six? All six of us wanted to live our Friday like we want to live our days. And that in itself is a recipe for chaos. Luckily today that chaos was fairly kind to us. I had to accept that as usual, I tried to squeeze three days worth of work into a single day. You know, perhaps I just need to practice accepting the fact that this is who I am. This is how I roll and specifically today that this is my Friday. Now, um, on my to-do list, two items on my to-do list was uh, or were business breakfast number one and business breakfast number two. Now, I was locked down, so these were my first two online business breakfasts. Uh, we have to bring your own bacon and eggs. Now, both of these online business breakfasts were efficiently and effectively run smoothly, almost business as usual. However, only for those businesses who have been able to transition to online and remote realities, ways of doing business, continuing business online and in remote fashion. For our business brothers and sisters who have not been able to continue their operations online or in remote fashion, it's not been business as usual. Particularly for the small and medium enterprises, they've been scurrying around looking for cash flow and other business continuity solutions. My heart also goes out to those businesses. May we reach out to them, may we support them. May we bind together in any way that we possibly can to pull each other through this incredibly trying and difficult time. Now during these two business breakfasts, I had the privilege of two elevator speeches um, to say what kind of business I'm looking for to inspire my fellow business people around the virtual table. And I noticed about myself, as I've done many times during the past few years, how I am most in a state of flow when I'm creatively performing for other people, like these moments. Thank you for affording me the opportunity to be in flow with you and for you. Not all of us enter flow in the same way. What is flow, you might ask? Well, simply put, flow are those moments when time disappears, when our being and our doing aligns with what is meaningful for us. And, you know, we, we are in a wormhole of time where time psychological hold is completely gone and you know four hours into this particular activity we look at our watch and we say where's the time gone I've written a blog post of which the link is down below a blog post to accompany this video and 
Feel free to look at the featured image there, a composite of four images. A runner on a dusty road, a serene nature scene, the thinker, picture number three, and then a music performer, picture number four. Look into that mirror and tell yourself or find out, and find out again once more, what, what is your flow state? How do you enter flow? I've also left a link down below to the Flow Genome Project where you can um, take their free flow questionnaire, quick one, and it's online of course, to discover or rediscover your flow signature. How do you enter flow? Now why am I harping on about flow? Well, it's simple. People in flow make more and more good decisions more and more independently during their days. And I believe this is the kind of humans that that um, humanity, that culture and nature need is people who make good decisions more of the time and more independently. If we activate our flow state before breakfast, more and more of our days, we'll make more and more better decisions more and more independently, which will make us valuable conversationalists when we collaborate in our teams throughout our lives. So please look into the flow mode, discover your flow profile. And during this 21 day lockdown period, get into a new habit of activating your flow state before breakfast every day and at different times during the day when you feel you need to. Because every time that you're in flow, time disappears, your being and your doing aligns with what is meaningful for you. And people around you obviously experience that as well. You are valuable to them when you are in flow. And you might ask, well, Werner, now I know a little bit more about my profile. Now what? And all I, all I can say, my brother and sister, is how flow can you go? Thank you for spending this time with me, Werner from 123CY. Please check out the links down below to the blog article and other interesting internet spaces. Please like or subscribe to this YouTube channel and share the news wherever you go. Until next time, I'm Werner from 123CY saying hashtag grow in gratitude. I, 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 I.